Hey folks, my name is Dane Harden with Western Masters Martial Arts. Each week we try to post a Zen Koan. Um, a Zen Koan is a story that pretty much tries to relate some learnable principle or philosophical principle that has some value. Um, martial arts, particularly martial arts that end in Do, Taekwondo, Karate Do, Aikido, Judo, uh, Kendo, are martial skills that are not just about fighting and combat, but they also try to impart something that is um, inculcation into the way. Uh, the way being the martial way. And there's an awful lot of Zen learning and Zen principle to that. So our lesson uh, this evening is a story about two priests. And the one priest was just renowned, very famous throughout the world as a very kind and scholarly gentleman. Um, he was never known to be angry. He was always caring and forgiving. And the other priest, um, he kind of took issue with this gentleman and he really didn't like him very much. Um, and if you think about polarization, uh, we certainly see this in our lives today. And you know, if you want to do the obvious statement, the political polarization that we see. So in our story, the one priest comes up and he's talking to the other priest and he starts uh, basically lambasting him, uh, insulting him, calling him bad names, very, very uh, much an open, blatant attack, verbal attack. And the other priest is sitting there and he's listening, he's listening and he's listening. And eventually, you know, the priest who's uh, throwing the insults stops and he goes, well, what's the matter with you? Why aren't you getting upset? Why, why aren't you fighting back? And the other priest, who was the kinder gentleman, he just said, well, I'm, I'm listening. And he said, oh, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna give you an earful. And he goes on and he just keeps slandering the guy, mocking the guy, telling him he's no good, telling him his principles are bad, he doesn't know what he's talking about, and on and on and on and on, until he is exhausted from basically yelling at this other priest. At the end, he looks at the other priest and he says, what is wrong with you? Why aren't you fighting back? And the other priest says, there's, there's no reason for me to fight back, brother. I, I have no hate in my heart for you. I'm not angry with you. You're angry with me, but I'm not angry with you. And because I'm not angry with you, I see no reason to fight with you. And the other priest is like, well, I don't understand that. I've just given you plenty of reason to be angry at me. I've certainly given you plenty of reason to fight. I don't understand your point. And so the priest, who's the kindlier priest, says, well, I want you to think about it this way. Say you have some coins and you want to give me those coins. If I accept that money, if I accept those coins, then they become mine. They become my money. They become my coins. So just like the angry slurs and the insults that you were giving to me, if I never accept those as being factual, as being real, or as being part of who I am, then the person who's offering them gets to keep them. And that's this evening's koan. And it's really a lesson about hate. When we divide into two camps, when each camp hates the other camp, when they're not willing to communicate with one another, not willing to work with one another, not willing to listen to one another, we get what we have, which is basically a tragedy. Um, the idea that this other priest could listen to the slurs and the insults and not be affected by them and be forgiving of the other priest eventually worked its way out. And the other priest realized, gee, I, I really acted poorly. I was really very mean to that kind gentleman and he probably didn't deserve any of and so that's really our Zen lesson tonight. I'm, I wanna let you think about that this week um, and think about it in relationships other than politics. Obviously, the, the politic one is obvious. But what about relations with brothers or sisters or maybe with other relatives or family or even friends? Be more forgiving. Be more willing to understand and to listen. There's the Zen story of two eyes, one mouth, and two ears. Listen twice as much, look twice as much, and talk half as much. That's your Zen lesson for the week. Thank you so much.